Hey guys, Enderman Gaming here, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is episode nine. I think I'm I'm, I'm losing track of like which episode these are, but uh, here's my list of things to do, and I've added something new to it. I've added Breezylvania based on a request by Bree, uh, so that will be created probably next episode. But this episode, I think what we're going to focus on is finishing it, finishing this thing uh, that you can see the underground highway. It needs this complete second way because the second way is not completely done yet. Uh, also. We need to create the Netta Isle right here. So that's probably going to be the main focus, but we're going to... Uh, first, I think we're going to do uh, finish this, because this won't take very long. However, I want to say that I got the Nightlife DLC pack thing uh, for City Skylines. So I have a lot of new stuff, and let me show off some of what's new that I see. Uh, we now have taxis. That's the thing. If we went into airplane, we would see that we could do the... Uh, let's see if I can actually see it here. The International Airport right here. And that's like a huge airport. Uh, but I'm not even near able to get that. We have the cargo hub, which is another thing I can create maybe right here. It kind of combines the train and the and the thing, the, the boat. So we have that. And we have this thing right here, which is like a bus station. Which I'm not sure if we had that before. Bus depot or bus station? One of those was added. Anyways, we also have jails. So we can now prison, imprison people and stuff and create, yeah, that sort of thing. And we also have uh, specializations for commercial, which is really cool because what you can actually do is you can specialize them to be uh, leisure or you can specialize them to be tourism. So that is something that they've added that I think is really cool. So I think what we're going to do first, actually, before we finish the Underground Highway, is we're going to make a really small area of Tidal Township that's going to have the uh, leisure specialization. I think if we put it along the coast right here, that makes it a beach specialization. Specialization. I can't even talk. Uh, so we're going to do that. Let's uh, let's 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 do it. Okay, so are you guys building beachfront stuff? Uh, weightlifting gym? Okay, that could be beachfront. Bowling? That's not really beachfront. You guys are supposed to... You're supposed to do it. Alright, Tidal Township. Yes, increase your size. You're going to take over this small area as well. Alright, now that, now that that's done, we're going to make you a leisure. Everything should start to change. Do it. That was massive clicking. Okay, I think it's going to happen. We'll, we'll give it time, though. Uh, let's finish the underground highway while that's going on. Um, actually, you know what? First, I want to build a prison because uh, not, we have nowhere for our inmates to go. So let's build a prison. We're going to build it right... Not there. Or, yeah, I guess right here. So there's our, there's our first prison. We're also going to build a prison. Um, there'll be a prison near the city, I guess. No, not in the city. We'll build a prison over... Jeez, I have no idea. Ooh. We can build a prison near that. Oh, yeah, that's that's the best prison area. <laughs> near the Trash Valley. Oh, Lord. They're going to have to smell everything. Does the pollution extend there? Let's see. The pollution does not extend there, so they're fine. Um, but since I'm powering everything off of this stuff, there you go. So what's supposed to happen is, uh, since I gave them the leisure, they're supposed to either, like, formulate beach zones is what I what I read somewhere or they're supposed to all become like nightclubs and stuff so I don't know if they're gonna do that <laughs> but yeah that's what's supposed to happen that looks really cool though look at all the lights so pretty anyways uh, let's finish this highway turn curve it okay so we just need to go all the way around there and then we're gonna start adding our uh, our, our connections all right, so the highway is weird again. <laughs> Remember over there when I made the highway really weird and it does like this like up down kind of thing? It like starts up right here and it does like a down bridge. I did it again. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, it looks really cool though. Like these guys would be like, oh, where's the other road? Oh, there they are, down there. Okay, let's finish this. Finish this. Considered one of the great marvels of human history. The underground trash truck highway has been created. Actually, it's more of a trash, or it's more of an everything highway now because, as you can see, normal cars have decided that it's okay for them to use it and go and interrupt the trash truck area. But look at this! It's running like a well oiled machine! Why are there cars parked there, though? I guess the workers have to park somewhere, right? It's, look at this! It's just like. Bzz, 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 bzz. That's the sound of a well oiled machine right there. Uh, now let's add these things right here. We need to add ways for them to get up and around. So we, we should probably add one over here as well, because we have, well. Let's see, if they need to get to this neighborhood, they go straight here. It's not that much traffic. Where's all my traffic? Seriously. 
Like, I used to have bad traffic. You guys saw. Traffic was bad, but look at this. Traffic is just gone. What happened? Oh, well, there's still some, I guess. Still some little ants running around. Um, so, yeah, let's do a thing. A thing with a thing. So, you're going to want to connect that way. So, since you're going, you guys are going this way, let's go up. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. Up, and then around that way. Perfect. And then, well, not perfect, but it looks good. <laughs> so then you guys, you're going to go around down and down and turn. By the way, I hope you guys saw that I raised a lot of money to complete this project because more money was needed. So, okay, so so from this highway, you can get to this one right here. You can't get to this one. I don't really want to make it so that you can get to this one. I'll just keep it on this one right here, and then actually... Oh, I'm going to do something. This is going to be cool. You ready for this? I don't even know if you guys are ready for this. Look at this. It's going to be a roundabout. Okay. First of all, what the heck, power? Oh, no! Oh, no! What's happening? Um, mm, that's a problem. Where's my fire department? That could, that could cause, like, things to happen. Like, bad things. There's my fire department, maybe? Please put that out. That, that, that could think, that could be bad. Are you guys good? Okay, it's out. Um, are you gonna, you gonna do, you gonna, okay, it's operating normally, okay. <sighs> that was bad. Um, let's, let's avoid future things. Where's the closest fire You already have your own fire station. How did it take that long for them to get there? Really? What I wanted to show you guys is something really cool. Look at this. So if you're going... Say say you're going on this highway and you're like, Oh no, I have to be going the other way. You can be like, boom, around, and back this way. It is the coolest roundabout looking thing ever. And now, I, I also want to do one going the other way, but I don't know if anyone's actually going to use it. I can imagine the garbage trucks maybe would use it. If they need to get on that highway, but it's probably going to go unused for most cars. Because they would have just gotten on the highway they wanted to go on. Anyways, garbage trucks are having fun with this thing. Um, let's continue with creating some of these these ramps. This looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, what what are you? A club de la creme. A weightlifting gym? A weight, geez, there's three weightlifting gyms in the same area. Those guys bought out the whole area. Nice. A comedy club. Okay, so nice. It is clubs and stuff. That's good. That is good to see. I like to see cars traveling over the dam. It looks pretty cool. Although the stupid dam is not working still. I'm, okay, here's here's a here's a deal. Anyone in the comments who tells me how to fix this dam, I'll name it after you. You can have whatever name you want. I'll I'll rename it to whatever you want. It'll be not the Centrillion Dam anymore. It'll be whatever, whatever the heck you want. If you can just tell me how to fix this stupid thing, it's I have no idea why it's not working. Look, it's water is bigger on this side. Then on this side, it should just be letting some through, so it can like splishy splashy through the area, and everything should be fine. But no, decides it's not going to work. There's a lot more cruise ships than I had originally. Is my tourism going up? Well, you're only servicing 28 people, so I don't, I don't know. Oh, holy crap! The garbage from here it shows where its reach is, and it reaches like all the way around the area. They have a pretty far reach, just because of that highway system. They can go like anywhere here, and anywhere here, and. It might take a little while for them to get over here, but they can still get here. As you can see, the garbage is doing pretty well everywhere. So we're going to need to actually extend that to come over here as soon as we build the Netta Isle. But we need to build the Netta Isle first before that can happen. So uh, I'm thinking uh, we're going to start with the avenue going that way. And we need a good source for that avenue to start from. You know what? We might actually work with a highway. The problem with an avenue is that it does stuff like this. causes like tons of traffic and look at this this is just a single road which I probably should have made an avenue as well all right so what we're gonna do I've determined we're going to make a highway that's gonna cross it's pretty much gonna cut straight over here and it will kind of outline where Tidal Township can expand to uh, it's gonna cut straight like this way and then it's gonna like come in here and then I don't know what, and then it's probably going to head this way right here, and then it's going to, eventually we get this land, it's going to cut across this way maybe, and then cut into this. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, highway, no, highway. Alright, and then it's going to 
the the Netta Isle place has a really nice mountain. So we're gonna the highway is just for now is gonna just like do like that, and then eventually it will connect that way. Um, but then that's going that way, so we're gonna need one going the opposite way. So you I need you to I need I, I want it to stay close. I want it to look nice and pretty. It's a little bit odd to me that that like you build one highway at a time instead of building both highways. There should be an option to like snap. Wait, is this? No, there's not. There should be an option to like snap the highway together so that you create both of them at the, at a time, just like you create uh, when you create an avenue like this. You create both lanes. Like I like being able to create them separately because sometimes one highway has to go like uh, this and one highway has to go like around something else like that and it has to look something like that where they go across. But I don't like how you don't have any option to like you know build them at the same time because that would make this a lot easier. I could just create the whole thing. Um, but here we go. Okay, so turn it around here, make it purdy. So now I have to spend time making it purdy and stuff. Which is sometimes hard to do. Alright, and then we're going to delete the last one because it's kind of curving off. And everything should be good right here. Now we're going we're gonna to be able to check to see if they're actually go if they're actually going the same way or not um, so you are going that way and you don't have an arrow which means you're going this way perfect they're going different directions which is really good if I build like no that's fine um, that is like my main concern when building these hi highways are they going different directions uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just straight onto the highway Perfect. And then uh, these are going the same way, so you're just gonna. If you want to merge onto this highway at this point, you can. <laughs> That's pretty much what this is gonna come down to. Okay, I don't know about this thing right here. <laughs> this could be uh, good. I, I tried to, like. Wow, did you just see that truck? Did you just see what he did? He just went zoop zoop. I have no idea why he did that. Probably cost him a couple seconds of time. But yeah, this will go this way. And then when you're coming back on the highway, you'll pretty much... this. The only way to get back would be to just, like, get back on the highway. The Netta Isle, named by Cornette, uh, is supposed to be the, um, like, the Isle of Nutella. Which means I have no idea how to proceed. What I think I'm going to do... I don't know if it's going to work, though. I'm gonna try. Uh, bear with me here. <laughs> okay, so here's my Netta Isle kind of uh, kind of start. It's just a big N with a circle around it. And oh, look at this! It's a little tunnel. A little cute little tunnel. I can I should build something up here, like a little road. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Anyways, so it's a big N right here. We're eventually gonna fill out this area probably with housing or something. Actually, this will be probably a tourist industry as well because you'll be like, oh, okay, so we live over here. Hey, you wanna go visit the Netta Isle for a day? We can eat lots of Nutella and we can all see all the trees and the and the, the, the mountains and the, 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 the beaches and stuff. I'm imagining this area to be like a beachfront housing kind of thing. Like you can have little uh, people people rent houses and stuff on that. And then we're gonna have another one right here like that and we're gonna put like um, we're gonna have a fire station a police station and stuff like that and it'll, it'll all be good you'll, you'll see okay this is the current Netta Isle you still see the big N and the little chin thing which kind of looks a little weird at this point but um, it's got like it's got some areas so I think what's gonna happen is these are gonna be housing in here we're gonna have some housing housing uh, housing and then this right here all this is well housing right there and then commercial areas commercial areas on the side so hopefully what 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 do you guys want uh, let me see what you guys want not enough goods to sell well I mean come on you guys need some goods I'll give you goods eventually you'll get goods don't worry all right so let's kind of let's start building this area up we're gonna build this just like that and I'm gonna pause the game real quick um, so that I don't have to worry about them being angry about not having power or anything 
All right, here we go. So this got a little bit more complex than I originally thought it would. So the first area right here, this is just the beachfront, the main beachfront area where you see all the cruise ships and stuff. This is all going to be commercial. So this is where there's going to be like uh, shops and stuff. And then there's going to be high density housing. So these would be like the really nice hotels. You can look across the area and stuff. And they're also really nice hotel kind of things over here. And we're also going to, we're going to build high density commercial on the inside, like closer inland. Uh, so this will be like, actually, I don't really know what it becomes. I think it all becomes hotels because this is going to be a tourism industry and you'll see what I'm going to build pretty soon. It's, I'm going to build something pretty cool. Um, but I, I'm going to finish this real quick. Okay, here we go. I think everything is now zoned. This looks kind of cool. It's like outlined in blue now, but I think once I zone this area to be the Netta Isle, I think it's going to actually create, uh, hotels kind of where this is. So, th so there'll be a bunch of hot a lot of housing, uh, on the insides. Um, but hotels mainly is what you're going to see along the sides and such. And these will be all housing. So these will be people who actually own the property and these will be all for tourists. We're eventually going to get, uh, where's my train tracks? I don't know where my train, this is my train track. We're eventually going to like get one to go, maybe we'll make a tunnel or something and it'll come over here and it'll, uh, it'll eventually be here and stuff. But let's create our infrastructure real quick. We need to add water and we need to add power. Ah, uh, you know me, always looking to find places to build electricity. Well, uh, I built a lot of wind turbines. Apparently you get the best on top of mountains, which I uh, should have realized. But yeah, so we got some wind turbines up here. I can add more if needed, but they are producing lots and lots of power. So everything should be good. Uh, if we can't connect enough, actually, you know what? I'll connect it to the grid just because I'm afraid uh, this will need more power than it has. So... We have to use some ugly power line. No, not that. Oops. Oh well. We'll let that be. So, grid connection. There we go. And like I said earlier, I wish you could hide them underground because it would look a lot nicer. I'd, I'd have underground power lines going to here. But we'll, we'll, we'll let that be. Let's let this place develop. All right, Franklin District's gonna need to be renamed to the Netta Isle. Netta, okay, Netta Isle. There we go, the Netta Isle. And we're gonna let that do its thing for now. So it needs to create, and the only way people can get there is through this. You're still, okay, are any cars going there? No cars are visiting yet, which is sad. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create another entrance ramp over here. There we go. So now there's another way to get over there. I wonder if anyone's going to actually go there. People don't want to go there yet because it's not really developed. There's not really anything. Well, there's some houses. Yes, a hotel. Hotel Intercontinental. That Intercontinental <laughs> added a couple more syllables there. Anyways, this place is doing pretty well so far. It's got some housing, got some uh, nice places. It should start increasing my population, which was decreasing for some reason. Oh, I almost forgot something. Uh, since this is a tourism industry, we're going to need tourist stuff. So, um, this stuff. Boats. Boats for days. There we go. Okay, this is going to be the boat area. Uh, and we're going to have some nice roads going to them. They're all going to be connected. Can you possibly? Yes, you can. And then, uh, just like, you know, go in there. And you too, just, just go in, like there. So I figured out why the Netta Isle wasn't getting any traffic from over here. Uh, it's because there's no way to actually get over here through there. So we're going to actually, we're going to create some ways. So that's the way that you get off. And then if you want to get on, you go to the edge right here and then you get on like that. There's no need to get on this way though because it doesn't actually go anywhere yet. But um there we go. Is that all of it? Oh man, look at this. Oh god, is that that's traffic. <laughs> look at this interchange right here. It's um well, currently there shouldn't be a traffic light right here. This should be cuz there's no way to go here. There's no even no one is even going to go that way. So the traffic light should be almost always green for these guys right here. Is this new? Ooh. Tourism and leisure. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Let me build a pier. 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 
here. Pier. 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 Okay, there's some docks. How does that look? What's that look like? Oh, that looks cooler. It looks more like a port city now. Get it, get out of here. Uh oh wait, what? No road axe. Oh, do you guys actually really have to have a road coming to you? Seriously? You have a dirt road. Well, I mean, that, that road's not connected to anything, so... I'm not sure if it counts. Holy crap, how are you gonna fish off of this? Oh my god. <laughs> Fishing pole! <laughs> That's great. Oh god, I can't see now. Alright, there we go. I had to actually make it into a, a real road for it to actually be able to do this right here because this is kind of difficult. But this looks really cool. What are you... Are you serious? You really... You still don't have road connection? That's not a road connection right there? People can't get to you? Really? There are people on you. What are you even talking about? I don't understand this. These are like insanely high piers though. Note to self, build piers on stuff more like this over here. See, that's a reasonable pier over there. Look at this pier. Still very high. That's Yeah, that's still way high for a pier. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this video might be called Mile High Piers or something. Ooh. Look at such a such a wonderful uh, such a wonderful landscape right here, but what lies beneath? It is a tunnel, basically like a tunnel connecting to this tunnel right here. Basically, what this tunnel is going to do is it's going to provide like this is the garbage truck tunnel right here. It's going to connect, and the garbage trucks will be able to go there. Although I suspect the cars will also use it, but um, the garbage trucks will be able to come up here and and deliver there, or not deliver, but take away some garbage. All right, so I've built tons and tons of docks and stuff uh, for them to have access to and, and, and such. Like there's a restaurant on this one right here, and then there's a marina right there, and there's a, a jet ski rental right there, and everything looks awesome. Boats apparently teleport. But this is still insanely high up. Look at this. <laughs> you rent a jet ski and then shoo, off the edge. But it gets even worse. Do you see this over here? Could you imagine, look at this, this is a, mar a marina. How on earth is this gonna work? <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, I can see like, maybe if you like attach yourself to a harness and then like lower yourself down to the boat, but I don't know. So one thing I wanna do really quickly before I end this episode, cause we've been going for, for quite a little time. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanna build a taxi place. Since this is a tour touristy area, we're gonna need a taxi stand somewhere. So we're gonna build a taxi depot. Sorry, sorry I had to destroy something for that. But you guys will be happy once you see that it's taxis. Uh, we're going to put one right over here as well. Minimal, coll minimal collateral damage to surrounding areas. And we're going to put one right here as well. So that's a lot of places. We're going to build some taxi stands. Um, and basically, people can stand here and they can wait for taxis to come. And we're going to put one down these areas too because we've got lots of stuff down here. Sorry, I had to destroy your house for that. Uh, we're definitely going to put one over here, because this is where a lot of people come in. Um, we're going to put one over closer to this area right here. And let me see. Let me get a bird's eye view. Of, okay, we don't have any over here. Um, bird's eye view. Maybe we want one right here. That's a nice building right there. I want to see what that is real quick. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're the hospital. I thought, you were, I thought someone actually built a building that big. Um... Okay, but that's pretty much that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for this episode. Right? Are you connected? Yeah, you're connected. So we've got taxis. The taxis will do pretty well. How are you guys doing? You guys are servicing zero people, servicing 78 people, servicing two people. So I guess eventually uh, we'll get our our tourism up. But um, what we're gonna do probably next episode. Uh, next episode we're gonna maybe focus a little bit more on building this. We're gonna try and build Breezylvania, which I'm thinking might be right here, uh, the Breezylvania area, or it could be right here. Either, either or works, and we're also going to work into this kind of thing, the unique buildings, because once we get to this right here, the metropolis, we'll be able to build monuments. Where are we at right now? Oh, wait. Okay, once we get to the metropolis, we'll be able to build planes, and then when we get to the megalop megalopolis, we'll be able to build monuments, and those are pretty much humongous things which I've never seen before because it's unlocked and I can't I can't do anything with them, but I have all this stuff right- what is this? Turbs, I have stuff like this too! I can build some cool stuff! Well, not yet. 
I'll have to I'll have to get into this stuff next time as well. But all this stuff I can build. Uh, this is stuff I've unlocked over the days. I've got like convention centers and, and just really cool stuff, like a science center and stuff. I can just build that in there and stuff. I, I'm, I'm running out of parks really quickly before I end the episode. Let me build some parks because it seems like uh, we're lacking a little bit in parks over here. This is how I build parks, by the way. I literally just uh, find a place and put it. Find a place to put a park. There we go. And everything starts turning blue. You guys need one over here. Uh, yeah. That's how I make everything look blue and stuff. Because inland, you can't have this sort of... This, this marina life. You have to have parks. Um, so yeah, anyways. So what did we do this episode? We created the final part of... Let's see. This thing right here. This uh, massive underground highway for the trucks. And it works pretty well. Uh, the garbage pollution seems to be pretty well or pretty good everywhere. We also created this one right here, which goes under the ocean. Cost it a lot of money, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. We created the Netta Isle, which is huge. Uh, we created this thing right here, which is like a weird highway. And I think that's pretty much all we did. But the Netta Isle is humongous. And I keep thinking that this is a lot of traffic. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, hit that like button down there. If you want a place named after you, or you have any comments, want to explain to me how the dam works, I'll name that after you if, if you can figure that out. Uh, or if you want to explain anything, post down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay, so what I have so far, as you can see, is just this little thing underground right here. Now, unfortunately, it costs a crap ton of money, like a lot more than I expected it would. Um, so I'm not even sure if I'll be able to finish it because I started...